Hello, so I'm going to show you how to parse a comma delimited list of numbers in C++. So um, this will be useful if you ever encounter a requirement that asks you to do this. So let's do this real quick. So what we'll do is we'll do this as a console application. So we select new project. I'm using Visual Studio 2017, but the uh, this should be pretty much the same for 2015 or 2013. Things haven't changed that much. So let's go, we'll put it here. So you decide where you want it, and I'm gonna just call this parse string, parse numbers, let's say. And I'll just hit finish on this. It's going to create some files for us and then we'll get started here in our coding. All right, so pretty standard little program here. And the first thing I'm going to do is do some includes. IO stream. String S stream. So string and str S stream. And then we'll put a using statement in here. Just make it a little easier for us to do things. All right. So What we need now is we need a string that's going to hold the value of the user input. So the idea here is we're going to read the whole user input in as a string first, and then we'll take that string and parse it and convert each of the items to a number, and we'll output those. So that's what we're going to do. So a string is like an array of characters, but it is a C++ type that we can use. So if we do something like this, and we'll do a little prompt here, please enter an, enter a list of numbers with each separated by a comma. Okay, so we got that prompt, and then we'll just read that into our variable that we just created. Very easy. All right. Now we are going to Create an I string stream object that comes out of this S stream include that we have, and we're just going to pass in this string. So basically, that's going to turn our string into a stream that we can then apply parsing operations on. So that's the point of doing that line of code. Then for each item that we get out of our list of numbers, we're just going to have a variable called item. And then we also need to say what our delimiter is. So you could have this separated by dashes or separated by any character that you wanted. So we're going to have our delimiter be a comma, like that. That's the thing that we're going to use for parsing. And then it's pretty simple. We just say while get line and this is where we use our stream and we'll say user input so let's do an int
another variable there, user input is equal to, and we're going to convert the item Okay, so um, actually we don't need this delimiter. Let me get rid of that because of the way we coded this. So let's just take that out. All right. So what this will do, this, this get line, what it does is it looks for a comma and grabs the value and puts it in item. And then it skips the delimiter and goes to the next character. So if our string looked like this, what this is going to do is it's going to grab the one, it's going to note the, the, the delimiter, the comma, it's going to read everything up to the delimiter, and it's going to put that in item as a string. And then this line of code takes item and converts it to an integer and stores it in user input. And then we can just simply say see out user input and let's do end L. put an end of line on that thing okay so let's run that and see what happens so we're compiling so let's do one two three and we are going to put system pause in here. We'll make sure that it stops so we can see our output. Let's run that again. So one, two, three. And there it output one, two, and three. And do this again. So what if we put A, 3, 4. Okay, in that case it's going to throw an exception because it can't convert the A to a number. And there's different ways that we could handle doing that. We could put a try catch around this code. If we were going to do that, we would want to do it right here around this. Let me stop the debugger. We'd want to do it right here around the uh, around this. So we might do something like this. Just one second. So just take Okay, so what we do is we put the code that we want to guard inside the try block. So we put that code there. And then here in the catch, we can do anything we'd like. For example, we could say invalid value and output item. Let's run that. Oops, hang on a second. We need to move this C out also up because we, we want to. Okay, so let me explain how try catch works real quick. So if, if any of these lines of code throw an exception, what will happen is the code will immediately jump down to what's in the catch. Okay. That's how it works, and that's the structure that you use. Watch your curly braces. So let's try A, 4, 5. And it says invalid value A, but the 4 and the 5 still print. So it handled the exception. So that's a quick little introduction of how you might parse a string that has uh, separated by commas and convert each of those values into an integer that then you can do things like test values if you wanted to. So you could put some if statements here or whatever you, your particular program needs to do. So I hope that was useful to you. Thanks.